Okay guys, so this is going to be a quick comparison between the iPhone 4 and the HTC Inspire 4G. Here they are. Um, uh, let me show you guys what the box looks like. Uh, okay, so the Inspire 4G box looks more like an AT&T box. It has Inspire 4G on it. Uh, and the iPhone box is more Apple-esque looking. So here are the phones. Let me move the boxes out of the way over here. Uh, you have the Inspire 4G and the AT&T iPhone. Uh, some quick things is this is a running a second generation Snapdragon processor at 1 gigahertz, and the AT&T iPhone is running an A4 1 gigahertz processor. So let's start off by showing you a little comparison of how thin uh, the phones are. Uh, the iPhone's slightly thinner, and the uh, HTC has a, the camera kind of sticks out a little bit. The camera does. Uh, the iPhone has a camera on the front. The HTC does not. Uh, the screen on the HTC is 4.3 inches, and on the iPhone it is 3.5 inches. Uh, iPhone's Retina display is 6 and 960 by 440. I do not know the actual current resolution on the uh, Inspire. I'm gonna look that up later. I'll put it in a little thing right there. There should be something right there. Uh, as you can see, the Aspire has AT&T branding all over AT&T, and that's about it. That's surprising. But anyways, uh, as you can see on the back, uh, this is a uh, skin I have on here. Uh, the iPhone's made out of glass. The uh, uh, HTC is made out of this uh, aluminum unibody construction. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's start off with physical hardware buttons. You can see uh, the HTC has a volume rocker on the side right here. The iPhone has two dedicated buttons for the volume. Uh, the also right here, the iPhone has a mute switch right there. Up top, you have a headphone jack, a uh, and the on/off button slash lock screen button. For the Inspire 4G, you also have right here the lock button. Now on the bottom of the phones, you have both of them have a charging port, and on the HTC is the headphone jack. Uh, like I said, these are both great phones. Oh, and on the back, I almost forgot about the cameras. 8 megapixel, shoot 720p. 5 megapixel, shoot 720p. Has a single LED flash, has a dual LED flash. Um, this you can remove the battery, this you can't. Uh, you can remove the SIM card now. Overall, uh, the HTC runs Android 2.2 I mean, for Oreo, and the Google, the iPhone actually runs iOS 4.3 uh, dot one. So uh, the HTC actually has pretty drab battery life. It's not very good at all. The iPhone actually has really good one, but this is a comparison really fast. Uh, I'm actually have a full out like software comparison in the next video. I shouldn't have time to do that, and I'll have my good camera. So, just give you an idea really fast. Uh, Android lock screen. This runs HTC Sense and is pretty snappy and fast with that second generation uh, processor. Um, the iPhone actually has always been smooth. The uh, processors are great. It's similar to a hummingbird processor if you've ever heard of uh, Samsung's thing. So, yeah, uh, you will want to uh, check out my iPod Touch giveaway. That'll be in the description. So, yeah. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.